In this video, ang i-discuss natin ay yung tinatawag natin na mathematical induction. So what is mathematical induction? When we say mathematical induction, it is a special way of proving things na ginagamit to show that a statement, a formula, or a theorem is true for every natural number. And take note na ang mathematical induction is quite frequently used in computer science, often to demonstrate the correctness of recursive algorithms. May dalawang basic step ang mathematical induction. The first step is yung tinatawag na base step. Show it is true for the first case. At yung pangalawa ay yung inductive step. Show that if any case is true, then the next case is also true. Para maunawaan yan, okay, we will have what we call the domino effect. When we say domino effect, okay, the first domino falls. And when any domino falls, the next domino falls, and lahat ng domino ay magpo-fall. So, yan yung idea ng mathematical induction. Another thing, let's try by proving. Okay. For example, la, we have the S sub N that represent the statement that the sum of first N positive integers is equivalent dun sa formula natin na N multiplied by quantity of n plus 1 all over 2. So, ang gusto lang natin patunayan na pa nag-add ka ng ang mga add numbers or ng mga numbers from 1 up to n number, ang result niyan ay equivalent gamit ang formula na to. To prove that, let's try giving uh, values doon sa ating n. For example, if n is equal to 1, we'll have 1 that is equivalent to replace natin yung n natin with the value 1. 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1 all over 2 is equivalent to 1. So that is true. They are the same. Next value natin ay 2. Having that, 1 plus 2 is 3. Then, replacing our n here with 2, we will have the same value, which is 3. Next value, which is 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is 6. Having this, 3 multiplied by 3 plus 1, which is 4, which is 12, divided by 2, that is also 6. As you can see, having 1, 2, and 3 as our values for n, same ang sagot nila doon sa formula. But the problem with this method, masyado siyang time-consuming. And we cannot prove that for every value ng n, uh, the result will be equivalent to this particular equation. To do that, nandyan na yung principle ng ating mathematical induction. Having yung ating formula or equation kanina, suppose that the S1 or the initial value of true by assumption and for any positive integer k, this is another integer in which uh, k is less than or equal doon sa value ng n natin, if S sub k or the sum of that k is true, then the sum of the k plus 1 or sub k plus 1 is also true. That means, okay, for any specific number in which the n is equivalent to k, example natin dyan ay 100, then it will also be true for its successor, yung kasunod na value which is k plus 1. If we have our 100 as, as our value, then that is also true doon sa kanyang successor or your next term, which is 101. Having that assumption, we can say that s of n is true for every positive integer ng value ng n natin. Let's have an example. Or we prove an equality statement gamit yung equation na meron tayo kanina. Okay, we will prove that S sub N is true for every positive integer N. So, step 1 is to show that the statement is true when N is equal to 1. E replace lang natin yung value natin ng N ng 1. In which, ginawa na natin kanina na if N is equal to 1, then S1 becomes 1 which is equivalent to the result of this equation. 1, true. Step 2, we will assume that the formula is true for n is equal to k. Having that, ang gagawin lang natin, ito yung formula natin kanina, i-replace lang natin yung n natin with a k. 
Okay? So, ito yung assumption natin. And then next, kailangan nating i-prove yung formula ay true for its successor o yung k plus 1. Ibig sabihin yung next value natin. Doing that, i-replace lang natin yung k natin with the k plus 1. So, every k here will be replaced by k plus 1, k plus 1. Okay? So, para i-prove to ngayon, ang gagawin natin is to add the term k plus 1 to both sides. Take note, ito yung assumption natin kanina. Okay? Diyan natin i-add ngayon yung ating k plus 1. Okay? Both sides. Ibig sabihin sa left side and then sa right side. Lalagyan natin ng k plus 1. And then, isi-simplify natin itong nasa right side. In which, adding those two fractions, we will have this result. And then, having the common factor, okay, we'll have the following. And take note that k plus 2, that is equivalent to k plus 1 plus 1. As you can see, yung gusto nating i-prove kanina, in which ito, equal siya ngayon dito sa nakuha nating equation. So, we have proved that for every s of n or for every positive number ng n natin is same lang sila ng result. Another example natin is adding add numbers. We have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus, okay, the 2n minus 1. Ito yung formula natin to get an add number. So, kahit anong ilagay mong value dyan, you will have an n number. For example, 5. 2 times 5 is 10 minus 1. That is 9. Okay? The, so, this is equivalent to n squared. So, papatunayan natin yan ginagamit yung ating mathematical induction. So, first is to show it is true for n is equal to 1. Having that, you will have your 1. Okay? 1 squared is 1. So, that is true. The next one is we assume it is true for n is equal to k. So, papalitan lang natin yung n natin with the k. Ayan. Okay? Take note that step 2 is always an assumption. Not true siya. Kailangan natin ngayon i-prove that it is true for k plus 1, yung next value niya. So, anong gagawin natin? Okay, we will just add yung 2k minus 1 natin again dito sa left side. And then, i-replace -re natin yung k natin with the k plus 1. So, you have your 2k minus 1 to be 2 multiplied by the quantity of k plus 1 minus 1. And then, sa kabila, from k squared, magiging k plus 1 quantity squared. So, we know that 1 plus 3 plus 5 and so on is equivalent to k squared. Ito yan, tama? So, gagawin natin is i-re-replace -re natin itong buong equation natin with a k squared. Ito yan. O, yan. Kasi nga, uh, alam natin na equivalent siya dito. So, that is k squared. Plus, okay, yun natitira, which is 2 multiplied by quantity of k plus 1 minus 1 is equivalent dun sa ating quantity of k plus 1 squared. So, ang gagawin natin is to expand all terms. So, simplify lang natin to. We'll have the following values. And same with here, we'll have the following values. And then, lastly, so, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, we'll have k squared plus 2k plus 1. That is equivalent also to k squared plus 2k plus 1. As you can see, they are equal. So, using mathematical induction, na-prove natin na this is equivalent or yung kanina, the, for every sum ng add numbers natin, that is equivalent to n squared. So that is what we call mathematical induction.